In math today, we're going to be using pictures again to model our addition. So let's go over our DLO, and then we'll go over some examples. Today I will model adding different numbers together. Now it's your turn. Today I will model adding different numbers together. So we're going to model today by drawing, counting, and writing equations, which you are already experts at because we've been practicing it all week. So what I drew up here are fish bowls so that we can practice showing and modeling. So that would be showing is modeling the story that we hear. So I'll use my little red pen right now. Listen to my story. I have three fish. My friend gave me a new fish bowl and gave me four more fish. How many fish do I have all together? So how can I show my story? By modeling. We can model to show the story that I'm talking about. So I said that I had three fish. So I'll model it by drawing pictures first. I had three fish. One two, three. I had three fish. My friend gave me a fish bowl with four more fish. How many more? Four. One, two, three, four. So I modeled it by drawing pictures. How many fish do I have all together now? I could count them. That's a way that I can model it I already drew them, now I'm going to count them to show the total, or to talk about the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another way that I can model my fish is by using an equation. So if I write an equation, how many fish did I start with? Excuse me, three. One, two, three. Three plus, how many more did I get? One, two, three, four equals how many fish do I have all together? Which number is greater? Three or four? Four. So put four in your head, three in your hand. Let's count up. Four, five, six, seven. I have seven fish all together because three plus four equals seven. I modeled it in a few different ways here. I modeled it by drawing pictures, I modeled it by counting the total, and I modeled it by writing an equation. Let's do another one. We'll do fish again because I can draw fish easily. I have, mm, let's do four. I have four fish. Oh wait, I'll say the story first how to model it. I have four fish in a bowl. My sister came home with another fish bowl with four more fish. How many fish do we have all together? So let's model it. Maybe I'll write an equation first. So I had four fish. My sister brought four more fish. How many have, do we have all together? When I hear the word all, I know the operation is plus. So I wrote my equation first to model what I heard. Now I can draw my picture to help me solve it. So four fish, one, two, three, four, and then four more. One, two, whoops, three, oh, four. How many do I have all together? Which number is greater? They're equal. Equal means the same, so I'll put four in my head, four in my hand, and let's count up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Make an S, close the gate. That's the way you make an eight. So I modeled my addition problem by writing an equation, and I modeled by drawing a picture. So let's read our equation. Four plus four equals eight. I could count them to model it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm going to ask you a question for the independent model on the second page is tricky. So you need to listen to the question very carefully. And I'll read it to you. It says, read the problem aloud, then have the students use multiple problem solving methods to solve the problem. There are two rabbits in a hole. So let's talk about it. Listen to the story. There are two rabbits in a hole. The same number of rabbits come in to join them. How many rabbits are there in all? So what do we know so far? We know there are two rabbits in a hole. There are two rabbits in a hole. So I modeled it. I've got two rabbits. Then it says the same number of rabbits came to join them. The same number. How many rabbits did we have to start with? Two. The same number came. What does the same mean? Equals. Equal means the same. So how many more rabbits came to join them if it's the same? Two. Two is the same as two. So then you would draw your little bunnies Two more came. Then you need to solve it. There's a place for you to write an equation. You know how to do that. There's a place for you to draw a picture of the story. And there's a challenge question. It says that Emily says the answer is three rabbits. Is she right or wrong? So Emily wrote an equation two plus one equals, she says, three. She says the answer is three. Is she right or wrong? The story said two rabbits were in a hole and the same number came. Is this the same as that? Mm, it is not the same. Two and one are different numbers. So when you talk about that, explain that to whoever is helping you. Is Emily correct? Is the answer a total of three rabbits? Why or why not? How do you know if Emily's correct or incorrect? What evidence can you show? How did you model it to show that either Emily's right or Emily is wrong? So take your time and use the words that you hear in it. Same, more, draw pictures, that's for you. But the beginning part should be easy. Listen to the stories, model the stories with pictures, and writing equations. And now it's your turn.